Half a day. Today we're making Guam Yam Donuts or Chamorro Vanillas Dagu. It's a donut that you dip in your favorite sweet liquid such as pancake syrup, sugary water, or tuba syrup. Whether you drop it with a scooper or with your hand, it's delicious. If you use your hand, you get lots of crunchy tails just like these. This is a Japanese type of yam. You'll need gloves. On the outside, it doesn't look like the yam or dagu that grows on Guam, but it makes for a yummy banyalis dagu. And like the ones that grow on Guam, it has a compound on the outside that will make your skin so itchy. Wear gloves or use plastic bags to protect your skin. So leche, you'll be scratching all day. The outside of this yam is rough and kind of prickly. Some Asian grocers pack it in a sawdust type of material, while others sell the Japanese mountain yam in a package. Cut it in half to make it easier to clean. Rinse it well. And I have two of these. Peel, two long ones that is. And rinse again. Special tools you'll need include a food processor with a grating blade or a cheese grater and a small dough scooper. The holes of my cheese grater are too big, so that's why I'm using my food processor. Let's start with making anibat tuba or tuba syrup. You'll need two cups or 474 milliliters of sweet tuba. Tuba is the sap of the coconut flour that has been fermented. It's so good to drink. Add a quarter cup or 50 grams granulated sugar. And stir to dissolve and simmer until it's reduced to about a half cup. Once you hear this bubbling of the sugar, the aniba is done. It will thicken as it cools. Of course, you can use pancake or maple syrup too. Next, we'll make coconut milk syrup. Pour 13 and a half ounces or 400 milliliters of thick coconut milk into the pan. Add three quarter cup or 150 grams sugar. Stir to dissolve. Simmer till reduced to about a half. The coconut milk syrup is done when you're when you hear the fat and the sugar sizzling. It will thicken as it cools too. Pour this through a strainer to remove the milk curdle solid thing. Now I'm going to make sugar water with a half cup or 118 milliliters of water and a quarter cup of sugar or 50 grams. Stir and taste. For the Banyalos Dagu batter, you need two long Japanese mountain yams, 56 fluid ounces or 1.66 liters of coconut oil for frying, three and a half cups or 420 grams all-purpose flour, one quarter cup or 30 grams cake flour, makes the donut soft, and half cup or 100 grams of sugar. Slice the large pieces of dago in half so it fits in the food processor. Grind the yam. I pulled these out of the freezer and thawed to room temperature. It will be messy, but fast. Set this aside, because first, we need to melt the coconut oil. Definitely you want smell-o-vision, because this smells so good. Mm. Scoop it all out and into the pot. It's snow white and a lot of work to make coconut oil. My dad still makes it on Guam. His is the best and he learned from his grandmother, Nana or Maria Orosu Luhan. Press those buttons lie. Thank you. Measure four and a half cups or 1,065 grams of yam into a bowl and squeeze to smash the large pieces. 
Then add your sugar and mix well. It's fun playing with this. Add all the cake flour and mix. I love making bunelis with my hand. Reminds me of home. Add one third of all the all purpose flour and mix it well. You always add your flour, flour a little at a time because sometimes the flour has more water, sometimes your doggo in this case, or if you're making bunelis aga, the bananas have more water. So you just kind of have to see how the batter moves and feels. I'm using previously frozen dagu, so some of the water I drained out. And if you use fresh dagu, you might have to use all the flour. Just watch how the batter moves in the bowl. That's your indicator of how much flour you need. The batter will start to pull away from the sides ever so slightly. And when you form the bunelis in your hand, it should maintain its shape when it hits the bowl. At the, this looks good. Your oil should be about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. If you put a wooden stick in the oil and it sizzles and bubbles like this, it's ready. Drop the batter with the dough scooper. If you have lots to do in the kitchen, this is the easiest way. But if you're just making bunelis, you can use your hand. It's more fun. The resulting bunelis will be round and your hand stays clean. Look at that, so pretty, and it tastes very good. So easy to make tomorrow bunelis, whatever kind, banana, pumpkin, dagu. It makes some new flavors too. If you want lots of crunchy tails on your bunelis dagu, drop the batter with your hand. Practice over the bowl of batter knife before you drop it in the oil so you don't get burned. It's so fun. If you miss home, make some bunelis. And close your eyes and pretend you're in the ocean. Or in your backyard with the chickens. Look at all that goodness. It's the telltale signs of handmade bunelis. Now for the best part, if you don't have tuba or if you just want to dip in pancake syrup, go right ahead. The texture of the bunelis dago is perfect for absorbing all that deliciousness. Now you can make bunelis dago all year long instead of just at Christmas. Most Asian markets sell Japanese mountain yam throughout the whole year. That was fun to make. Would love it if you shared this video. Please subscribe, like, and hit that bell so you get a heads up when my next recipe is out. Thank you, then adios hasta aquí.